A quiet revolution is taking place in the treatment of cancer. Let's say, for example, chemotherapy for a particular group of cancer has been the standard of treatment because it was proven uh, in the past that for that group of patients it was the best possible treatment. Now we know that within that group of patients there are multiple subgroups with different genetic mutations. And we have therapies available that are targeting specifically those genetic mutations. A pilot scheme has already begun. Thank you. One of the patients providing samples is Paul Harvey. To sit there and be told by someone, I'm sorry, but you do have prostate cancer, is a bit of a shock. And it takes you sort of a month or so to get used to that. So just put your tourniquet on, you take your blood samples for you. They're taking blood to help treat Paul's prostate cancer. But this sample okay. is for the stratified medicine pilot scheme. It's Thank needed you. to test for specific genetic changes which are known to be important in this type of cancer. What I'm hoping is that uh, from the results of the research that's being carried out now, they will develop better cures for men in the future. And perhaps for men in a similar position to myself, the outcome won't be quite so serious. Hospitals like this will be processing blood and tumour samples from about 9,000 cancer patients over several years. The initial focus is on the most common cancers. From here, the samples are sent to one of three laboratories. This one is at the Institute of Cancer Research in South London. First, they have to extract the best possible DNA from the tumour sample. Then, they look for genetic mutations. And this is the final stage of the process. We're in a different room where all the instruments are to analyse the samples. So all the reactions that we've prepared previously would be put into the instruments, we'll get the final results, and that would be transmitted to the clinicians. In the future, we all anticipate that this will be hundreds, if not thousands, of tests that would need to be done to each patient to make sure that the therapy is exactly the one that that patient would have the most benefit from. This huge number of tests will ensure that each patient receives very precise and accurate treatment. It's hoped this scheme will make a significant difference to future cancer therapy.